God won't give you something if you care too much about it. What do I mean by this? So I think one thing I've been trying to figure out in my life is like, how does God bless people? Or like, when does God bless people? And people always tell me, oh, it's when your like character is right, you know, when you're ready for the blessing. But it's like, how do you know that? And I think one good metric for knowing when you're kind of worthy and ready for a blessing is literally when you don't care about it anymore, which is such an irony. But like, I think God is really testing how much you care about him. And you know, the, the, the more you care about him, the less you care about the other things. And so therefore he can give you the other things without you being puffed up. Um, so for example, like money, for example, or just any, okay, let's think, t take money as an example. So I genuinely think God will only give you a lot of money when it doesn't matter to you anymore. When, when you literally couldn't care less about money um, because you already like know where your kind of peace is, where your identity is, where you know your 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 values and your character lies, like which is in God, um, and that's when God will give you money. I think because then you will have the character and the mindset where money literally doesn't affect you. And so the strongest people in the world, the kings, the, the people who the Bible talks about as kings, they are like the, the, it goes back to like being cold because if you're cold, it just means you're so kind of desensitized. And what, by desensitized, I mean like you just don't care about the world because you care so much about God. So when you're cold, it doesn't make you a psychopath. It just, even though, you know psychopaths are cold being cold doesn't make you a psychopath if the reason you are cold is because you love god so much that everything else in the world doesn't matter anymore and that not only means that you can compete with psychopaths uh, because usually psychopaths are like the most successful people but it also means that like your primary priority is God and therefore he can give you anything in this world because if he gives it to you he knows that you can handle it um, because like you literally don't care anymore and this definitely takes character development it definitely takes I think it takes pain because once you experience a sufficient level of pain then in order to justify continuing to live you need something greater than you know something that you once thought was good in this world for example someone pursuing like uh climbing the corporate ladder for example let's say something extremely extremely painful and tragic happened to them and then they would question the very meaning of existence um and unfortunately their like purpose of like climbing the corporate ladder wouldn't justify living for them like as in that like, if they if they concluded that climbing the corporate ladder is the only way the only purpose and meaning of life then they would just kill themselves because the pain is not worth such a uh, meaningless cause and so i think part of character development and attaining blessings is experiencing the pain so that you your your cares have to shift more towards god because once you experience enough pain you will realize that God is the only thing worth living for and kind of, you know, your true purpose, you know, carrying out what he wants you to do on this earth. And the crazy thing is, is the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything will be added or, or like something like that, something like that. And, uh, you know, people might be asking me, well, Ben, like if I seek my purpose, does that mean I won't get rich or like, does it mean that? like i'll have to sacrifice some things of the world like no no like in fact you will be the most wealthy you will be like in the bible it says job was a perfect man and he was also like one of the wealthiest men like of his time or like i don't know but he was really wealthy and he was a perfect man it's god it says in the bible 
And so the point is like, um, just because you're chasing God, and you're chasing your purpose, doesn't mean God won't give you things in the world which people envy. Um, just because like he loves you as well, because like he, he, yeah, genuinely because he loves you, he's your father. And also because of the fact that he wants to show the other people in the world how blessed you are so that they can turn to him more. And so that's what it means, like, as, like, living out Jesus, living out being God. Like, you know how, like, all the religious Christians are like, oh, the best way to evangelize is living out your faith. And I agree 100%, but, like, I bet they don't take in the fact that, like, just, you know, becoming successful in the metrics of society, even when you're not thinking about becoming successful by the metric society it's simply because you're chasing your purpose in god and as a byproduct you become successful in the metrics of society i bet they don't think about that way in which to kind of glorify god and uh you know because other people will be envious of them they'll be like oh how did you do it and then you know you'll be like because i i'm like i love god i'm chasing god and you know it's uh it's just so crazy it's so crazy how life works. So the point is, um, to conclude, I just wanted to say like, um, God only blesses you when you don't really care about what he wants to bless you with anymore. And you kind of detach yourself from that, you detach your identity from that. And this means that when he does give it to you, it won't puff you up, it won't make you arrogant, it won't like change who you are because who you are is tied to the highest thing, which is God. Um.